Hey Floss Tube, welcome back to Basic Stitches. I'm Jordan and my Floss, nope, my Instagram, it's been a while, is Jordan X Stitch. And I'm Jamie and my Instagram is Jamie X Stitch. And this is Polly and she's finally gonna make her Floss Tube debut because it's her, been a little while. Can you get her ears to go up? How are you? Do you wanna treat? <laughs> <laughs> she has very expressive ears. But only, but one stays bent the whole time. Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, she is my stitching buddy. We got her in April. Mm -hmm. And she's sweet. She's my best friend. But she hasn't been on a floss tube yet, so I thought I'd introduce her since we usually have Loki. Huh. She's a sweet girl. Oh. She has long legs and she can jump. High. Yeah, she can jump a lot. She can jump straight onto our kitchen counter. So it's very fun. What was that? Um, anyway, it's been a long time since we made a floss tube I think video. it's been, what, like six weeks? I'm it's sorry. been more than a month. It's been a while. So, we, we all know, like, there's been a pandemic, whatever. If you haven't heard of it, I'm jealous. Then I want um, to know where your rock is. You've been under. <laughs> so, we've had all this going on, and it's just kept going, and... It's getting to a point for me emotionally that I'm slowing down because I'm like ready to get back to normal and everything. Right. And so like my stitching got slow for a little bit and it's just been like kind of a heavy month, I guess. Plus getting ready to school for school and figuring out like what we're doing as far as back to school was very stressful. Well, yeah, because that changed like 15 times, I yeah. swear. My so, son's school changed twice. No. Yeah. It was one way, they changed it to another way. I was getting emails from the state, the district, and the school, and it was a lot of information that was all very different. But it's been really heavy, and I know that a lot of people have felt it, so I apologize for not making a video, but it was kind of, we didn't really have anything to show either. No, because, because everything we've been stitching has been just model stitches, mm -hmm. and that we took longer at than most times. Yeah. Um, I'm to a point now, I like I started stitching on the um, Happiness is Homemade mm -hmm. from Fat Quarter Shop that is the World Cross Stitch Day pattern. Um, and it was fun to go and pick my own colors and put them together. And I didn't bring any of that with me because this video we're just showing um, releases for Little Stitch Girl. But we are going to do a floss tube soon to show other stuff because we might have other stuff to show. Because <laughs> we are finally to a point where we are going, well, where I can speak, where we're going to be able to start stitching like our own stuff, not just models, which I love stitching models. I love the stuff I That's make. what I was going to say. And I but, speak up to stitch certain models because I'm like, I want that one. <laughs> but I do feel bad like because I have so many projects and other designers that I love and stuff. And I'm like, I want to stitch that. Well, and my whole collection of stuff I've had for ever that I want to get to, I want to yeah. stitch those things too. So we're excited to be able to maybe get some more stitching in um, and also, get life back on a routine. Yeah. I'm very ready for that. Lacey starts school on Tuesday. Ben started school on the 10th. And I have to tell you guys, it was the funniest story ever <laughs> because of everything. And we didn't know if we were homeschooling or sending kids to school. Like we were having a hard time making a decision. So I hadn't done back to school shopping yet. So it was um, August 10th. We had signed Ben up for preschool the week before. I was still talking with this teacher. We were supposed to go to an open house and forgot. I had paperwork I needed to sign. So I texted her that Monday morning and was like, hey, can I bring Ben by and sign those papers and show him the classroom and stuff sometime this week? And she's like, well, is he coming to school today? Because I can just give you the papers then. And I was like, oh, school starts today, cool. So I had two hours to get ready. I took Ben and finished all of his back to school shopping within an hour. I was very proud of myself. Um, and he got cute stuff. He got very cute stuff. Kohl's had great sales and clearance stuff and we're good. But it was a very stressful like two hours. We got him ready, took very cute pictures of him for back to school and I'll got him back. Right. And he has loved it. His teacher's great. He gets sad going because 
he hasn't ever really done daycare or anything and so it's like his first time leaving us right after being home with us all the time so he but the second he's inside he loves it and it's very cute and Lacey has wanted and he to loves start to tell me about it so he enjoys it Lacey's been excited to start school since he did so she starts on Tuesday and we're getting back to normal as normal as 2020 can get <laughs> yeah um I have issues with this year <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, we spent the entire first part of the year getting ready for market, went to market, came back, and then everything was crazy. So, oh, literally, bumped on the table, oh, ice chest. But literally, like, what, two, three days after we got back from market? We got back from market and now. had um, grandma's, grandma's funeral. funeral three days later. And then Oops. it was after her funeral. It was the day after her funeral that Lacey was supposed to go to a school field trip. And that was a Friday and um, her field trip got canceled and then that Monday school was done. See and it was that Thursday after grandma's funeral that we were sitting at my parents house and my cousins and some people had come over to visit that were in from California and that the um, all, everybody's phones kept going off saying that the university had shut down um, the Utah's an LDS based state kind of people know that that's a thing the um the church started out and they were shutting down um I can't think who else it was oh sports you know Rudy Gobert had COVID um and so like sports started shutting out. it was but we all of our phones started going off and it was just like boom 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 so, and so yeah. we had hurry busy ready market and then the world shut down and it's just been a weird year and I know it has been for everyone, but like... And I think we've talked about this before. It's just we forgot because it's been so long ago. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're working on getting back to normal and getting back to, like, as and best as we can. Getting our stitchy mojo back. Yeah, because... We've kind of been... Bleh. And I know a lot of people have been feeling it right now, too. So I'm grateful to know I'm not the only one. But also, I'm sorry that everyone else feels this way, too. But... I have some bright, fun new things to show people to make it a happy time. I love all of it. Seriously. So, um, we've been working on the Happiness is Homemade. Both of us have started it. Um, it's that quick show. Yeah, and it's a digital download on their website and it's very, very, very cute. And I love the blue fabric they did theirs on. I'm using a blue fabric that I have in my stash too to do mine on. Oh. But we'll but, show those yeah, on our we'll show those floss tube too. And we'll get back to using or to doing normal floss tubes. Yeah. And we're going to, we were just talking about trying to make sure we get together as often as we can, even versus doing Skype ones. We will still have Skype ones. We're still going into Through the winter, winter and everything. Yeah, that That's just still has just to happen for our safety. But, but we're going to so. get together as, as much as we can. Which, out of like the last, what, eight weeks, she spent six weekends nine. in my house. Oh, nine weeks. There was, oh, this would, oh, nope. Last week was week eight, last weekend. Today is Friday, so this is weekend nine. And of those, I missed one weekend at her. At my house, and of those two, two of them, I was at your house. That was just, oh, this last one weekend, and last week, yeah. yeah. We've been together a lot, but it's all been, well, not all of it. A lot of it has been stuffing charts the past two, at least. And birthday parties and yeah. just anyway, family stuff. So, I know everyone's been asking, and I'm so sorry it's late, but is spooky that the hour. first number, not, or is that one? It's this one first, and then this one. Oh, I had it backwards. Okay. So, number 10 for Spooky Hollow is the boutique. And I, oh, I bumped the table. Yeah, your elbows are getting to me. <laughs> um, I love this one. I had a lot of fun stitching it because I did this model. Um, there's like the cloaks. This is where Dracula gets all of his cloaks from. And this is like a jack lantern, like um, the Headless Horseman mm -hmm. wears. A witch's hat. This is a sheet, like for, for a ghost to wear. To be Ghost. It's boutique. I thought it was very cute, but it's the boutique, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. I love the green. I think it fits really well mm -hmm. in the series too. It does. It's cute. I have laid them all out next to each other and taken all the pictures and everything, and 
At the end, do you want to put some of those pictures in? Yeah, I can do that. Just put them at the end so you can see it all laid out together. Mm -hmm. Um, And then next, because of the time of year that it is and everything, but also just because I felt like this town needed it, this is number 11 in Spooky Hollow, which does mean there's only one left after this. This is the school house. Exciting. This is the one, uh, mom just finished stitching it. And it has, so all of these uh, little characters are mini. So if you look at like the ghost next to the ghost, these are the kids. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, We've got black cats. There's spider webs in the windows and up by the bell. They've got books on the shelves. I love this one. And it's the kids of the city. Yep, the town. And I think, I think, I think it turned out very cute. That's what I was trying to say. So that's number ten and number eleven of Spooky Hollow, and we just have one, one more, more and next I'm month. Very excited for it. Okay, next is this is the next in the Gingham Plaid series. This is September's. This is Spread Sunshine. And I love it. I so wish I, I had model stitched this one so that I could keep it, but mom did it. I've begged to stitch all these in this series. That makes me mad because I don't have them all. But I love this one. And mom, you did it in, what, one weekend? Mm-hmm. It was very, very, very it was fast. Quick. And the, the leaves are like... Or the petals, sorry. Yeah, so the front petals are outlined in the lighter color and then the back petals in the darker petal to color kind of give to the give it the contrast. Difference, yeah. But I love it. It says spread spread sunshine. sunshine. That's what it's called. My lighting's bad because it's eleven o'clock. My watch died. Oh, ten forty two. Almost eleven o'clock. So sorry for bad lighting, but I love this. And rest your teeth, so if I'm laughing. Yeah. Um, so that's Spread Sunshine. Oh, okay. No, I forget her cover. I just thought that cover was so cute. Very cute. Um, Polly kept sniffing the flowers and stepping on everything. So it was very frustrating, but she wanted to be with me and it was cute. And then the last one, and I've been very, very excited for this one because I'm this really set up this one. all of the seasonal streets to be just the seasons, not just the holidays. This is Autumn Avenue. Hey there, pumpkin. <laughs> and I love it. Um, Kay stitched this one for me, and she did a phenomenal job. I know. She it is, is beautiful She stitching. seriously is one of my favorite people in the world, but then she also is a, an incredible stitcher, so that helps. <laughs> um, but we've got sunflowers, and they have the Lazy Daisy um, petals and the Smyrna centers. So I do have the tutorial for that on this YouTube channel. You can also, can you link it in this video? Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I will make that work. She um, did a really good tutorial showing how to do those stitches and put them together. So we've got the flowers and some pumpkins because of course for fall, a scarecrow and this is his crow sitting on top of him because he's not actually a scarecrow. Well, he is, but he's a sweet one. Apparently, he's not scary. Um, I love this color in the... It's, it's Autumn Leaves by Gen, Gentle Art. I believe so. Yes. Um, and it has so much variegation, and it's beautiful. Which does make it a little hard when you're trying to convert to DMC, because it's you can tell yeah. it's definitely two different colors right there. Like, and it's... It's a really interesting color because it has some like orange, some gold, some green, some khaki. Like it has a lot of color to it, but it really just is autumn leaves. Mm -hmm. um, but it makes for some really pretty trees. And I love this one. The wind and the blustery day. And this one was, uh, I have fun when Jordan's designing because she sends pictures back and forth to me and with ideas and stuff. And there's parts of this that was suggestions I had and she, she went with it, so it's fun. Um, so, I love this pattern. I'm very excited to have it done. I love the colors of the houses. I love, because it's very bright, but it's very autumn. autumn. Mm -hmm. And it's a mix of two of my favorite color 
things because I love bright colors and I love autumn colors. And she, right off the bat, she knew she wanted to say, hey there, pumpkin. That was, that was planned early on. Yeah. So that's Autumn Avenue. And um, I finished this one the same way I finished the others. It's on floral foam. foam. And then this was a ribbon from Joann's that just has sunflowers. This was just a fabric from Joann's or Hobby Lobby. I think that's actually it. Hobby Lobby. That's the pattern. I love it. And I almost printed it with the pattern that had Polly's nose in it and then realized that Polly's nose was in it. <laughs> and I fixed that. Mm -hmm. But yes, so that's fun. I'm very excited for these releases. We just finished folding everything and we will be I will be dropping stuff in the mail to distributors and shops tomorrow. So this is mm -hmm. Friday night that I'm saying this. So whenever this goes up, Saturday morning is when I'm mailing to shops. And I'll have them up in my Etsy shop at some point <laughs> this weekend, yeah. probably Sunday or Monday. Um, and we are on a better schedule to get stuff done for September. So that will finish out Spooky Hollow, which is crazy. It's exciting though. That's a big series to have done. Those are 12 charts like that. That was... I mean, that was a lot. It's been a lot of work. And we were just talking about this series about how each one of them have a, has a little bit different inspiration from something. She's like she's pulled ideas from like, like the, the, um, like the library, for example. Oh yeah. And the floating candles that from were like Harry Potter, Harry Potter, you know, and different things. Um, the barber shop that had, you know, grandpa. for grandpa. The gazebo was like Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Um, and I mean, there are gazebos everywhere, but. And what was it? Jem Lynn or Weezo was here earlier. And she she's said, like, so well, where's my inspir or where, what did I inspire? And we're like, well, have you it's... seen The Witch? <laughs> we said it at the same time and she, ooh, we got a scaly look. look. And then she's like, no, the school, because she's a teacher. So yeah. she's like, we're like, no, she's the school. She's been very excited about the schoolhouse. Yeah. So. It's been fun to have <laughs> it was funny though. the different inspirations in it though, because um, they all have like a little bit of sentimental meaning to me, mm -hmm. besides the fact that we've just worked really hard to get them out and everything that... And there's just one more. Yeah. I don't even know what we're going to do when it's done. Just kidding. I do. We're going to get ready for market. But... <laughs> Is there ever not things to do? But I'm like, it's very exciting and very like almost bittersweet to have it be finishing because it's been a fun series. It's been a lot but, of fun, but it's cute. It's we still fun. have one more. Can't be sad about it yet. <laughs> so. One more releases next month in September. Yep. And then, yeah. So that's all we have as far as releases and things to show. We both have quite a bit of haul. We both have like very little stitching, but we- But we still shop really well. Yeah, we're very good at shopping, <laughs> especially when we're home all day and online and it's just easy to click and get it. I know I'm not home working. all day, I work. But I get on and scroll through Instagram and someone shares like a chart they're working on or I finally got in the Floss Fix Club, which I'm very excited about. So Louisa did too. So I'm getting those now, and I'm like, my first one showed up, and I was like, yes, I, I squealed. My husband didn't get it. I was very excited. Which, in case you didn't know, Floss Fix is a classic color works um, thread club through Fat Quarter Shop. And it's six colors. Come up. And they have like a theme every month. Mm -hmm. And I, I love classic color works threads and gassed. Mm -hmm. Victorian motor, I love thread. Um, and fabrics and charts and mm -hmm. all of shopping. <laughs> so that's what we have this week. Mm -hmm. um, we will do a giveaway of- Well, we have drawings on the last video, I'm sure, because that was a release. I, I know I 
It was really slackery and I just mailed out everything from our last video for the winners. I don't remember if we had a giveaway. I'll go back and oh, look and if we don't. So this is a problem when we go this long without recording. Or, yeah. Sorry. And we probably have questions and stuff. We'll take care of that within the next video, which we're going to try to do one regularly again. Yes. Back to regularly scheduled. <laughs> we, just, we just took a, we had a writer's strike. <laughs> I was going to say a hiatus, but okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> um, mm. I had a lot of shows back when the writer's strike happened that went off the air, and so that's what I think of when stuff like stops filming. But we will have a giveaway for each of each these. Each of the charts. Um, you can get the PDF or the physical copy, whatever you prefer. You just have to let us know in the email. Um, yeah, if you win. Um, but don't mention giveaway don't mention a uh, prize or winning in the comment all the normal stuff yeah because scalpers use the buzzwords to try to just come in and basically steal Wins, stuff yeah. from people who want it um so i've released 11 10 and 11. what do you think number 12 is oh good question i was prepared that doesn't usually happen. I wasn't. I was sitting here going, oh, crap, think of a question, think of a question. <laughs> I thought about it at the beginning of the video. We're good. Um, yeah, so what do you think number 11 is? And I'm not going to tell number anyone 12. if number 12 is. You'll get it right if you guess what number 11 was and you're paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what number 12 was? And you don't have to, like, guess it right or anything. It's just, just fun to see. Just make a guess and... You're in the drawing. Um, and then comment which one? One, two, three, or four. And you can comment any of them or, or all, all of them. But make sure you put one, two, three, four. Like yeah. not just all. Yeah. Because that makes it easier for us to go through and right. find winners. So anyway, that's all for this video. Also, I know it's August. I know it's the end of August and I still have 4th of July stuff up, but it's fine. We're just really patriotic here. <laughs> um, and she even said, should we sit over here and show this in the background instead of the wall? Sure, it's well, fine. Well, it was a plain wall, but now I'm realizing it's out of season. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, it's 2020, anything goes. Yeah, I should decorate for Halloween in March. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so my or our Facebook group is The Basic, Basic Bunch. Bunch. And my Facebook page is Little Stitch Girl. My website is littlestitchgirl.com. And it has pictures of like all my charts and where my freebies are and my whoops page and stuff like that. Um, and then my Instagram is Jordan X Stitch, and I think I got it all. I think you did. My Instagram is Jamie X Stitch. And then Grandma DM, her Instagram is Grandma, Grandma X, -Stitch. X Stitch, and Janelyn's is Weeza X Stitch. And we did it. We made another video. <laughs> so we will see you all again soon. Sooner than later. Yes not weeks and weeks and weeks away. And we have plans. We've missed you. We're glad to be back. It's and true. This feels more normal than it should. I feel like talking to ourselves in a camera shouldn't feel as normal as it does to get back to. But Well, I really talk to you in a camera all the time, though, because when we FaceTime, you know. It's, that's true. I do stare at you while we talk, not myself. So, yeah. anyway. Have a great week. We will see you soon and happy stitching. Bye. Bye.